some huge news coming from Anthropic today. I am recording this literally the day before this video goes out because uh, this is this is big, you guys. So Claude just announced Claude 2 and the ability to use Claude in their own in-house built platform. Let me show you their press release. So this is the press release that they put out announcing Claude 2. Now, if you've used Claude in the past, you'll already know that it is really good at a lot of things. It tends to be better at pros, like creative writing pros, than ChatGPT is. Uh, but there are some things where ChatGPT is superior. But Claude 2 is essentially the next version of that. It's essentially the same as going from GPT 3.5 to GPT 4, which was a big deal earlier this year. Uh, now we're getting Claude 2, which is pretty awesome. And so let's go through this and take out some of the key points, and then I will actually walk you through how to use the new model in their own platform and uh, what it can do. So we are pleased to announce Claude 2, our new model. Claude 2 has improved performance, longer responses, and can be accessed via e API as well as a new public-facing website, Claude.ai. Uh, which is where you can go if you want to check it out for yourself. So some of the key things here, longer responses. All right, this one is a big one for me because my biggest hang up with these chat models is that the most I can ever get out of them is five to 600 words most of the time. Sometimes you can do a little more. Uh, but with Claude, past iterations of Claude, I could never get it past 400 words. It was usually around 350 to 400, somewhere in there. And that it can be a big hang up, especially because it can really get derailed f fast if you are doing lots and lots of different prompts. So knowing that it has longer responses is great. And I have tested this. It definitely does do longer responses. I've only been able to consistently get about 1000 words per response, but that's already way better. And it is possible to do more than that. It's just right now the servers are a little overloaded and I managed to crash it a couple of times. And so it's entirely possible we'll be able to get 2000 words or more in a single response. So they go on to talk about uh, it's thinking, it's longer memory. They say that it scores more on different exams, which is fine uh, for the purposes of us, the creative writers using this for fiction and nonfiction. Uh, those kind of things aren't as important unless you're writing certain genres of nonfiction where it's important for it to be factual. But those kind of things you'd want to check your facts or provide your own facts anyway. One kind of unique thing here says the Claude 2 API for businesses is being offered for the same price as Claude 1.3. That's pretty big news um, for any of the business that are businesses that are using Claude in their services. Uh, like Pseudorite. I'm actually really hopeful that Pseudorite will be able to incorporate Claude 2 into Story Engine as quickly as possible because uh, that should provide some huge improvements to the better prose format in Pseudorite, which is uh, really exciting. Now, here's a big one. It says, as we work to improve both the performance and safety of our models, we have increased the length of Claude's input and output. Users can input up to 100,000 tokens in each prompt, which means that Claude can work over hundreds of pages of technical doc documents or even a book. Claude can now also write longer documents from memos to letters to stories up to a few thousand tokens all in one go. So it says it's using the term token here. Now, if you're not familiar with tokens, basically at that 100,000 tokens roughly equates to 75,000 words. I've heard people say it's a little less, like the most they can do is about 65,000 words. But even still, that is a lot of words that it can handle. And the fact that they are offering it in this chat bot is insane. Um, this is currently available for free. And the fact that you can do this for free is is insane. I'm sure there will be a paid model down the road. They might take some of this capability out of the free model. We'll have to wait and see, but for now it's free to use. Um, and it also says that it can generate up to a few thousand tokens all in one go. I don't know what a few thousand means. So if we're if a few thousand means 2000 tokens, then that means we could probably roughly get 100 or 1,500 in one go. But we'll see, I have yet to really test it out or talk to other authors testing out uh, testing it out to see how much they're able to do. It also talks about the coding skills. It is able to do a lot more with math and coding. 
uh, which is great if you're a coder. Uh, for those of us who aren't coders and this, you know, like this channel is all about writing, this isn't as important, but you know, any kind of advancement will always lead to improvements in every area of use for sure. So after that, it just goes on to talk about different integrations they're doing with certain companies, none of which is particularly important for our uses here. So let's actually go into Claude now that we can use it and see what we can get from it. All right, so if you wanna use this, you can go to claude.ai and uh, you'll come to this screen and you can just enter your email here, follow all the steps and you'll be able to get in. Uh, I, I will leave a link to this below, obviously. And once you're in, it will look something like this. Uh, I've already been playing around with it for a while. So right here is where you have your past chats. It's a little bit different from the layout that ChatGPT has. Uh, and you cannot access these while you're in the chat, which I think is uh, eh, maybe a, a design issue, but that's me being nitpicky. Um, and so one of the cool things that you can do that wasn't mentioned in their press release is you can attach files. Actually, it did mention this in the press release. You can attach files. So you can attach your book here. You don't have to put it in the chat and it will be able to analyze the thing. It says it will take uh, up to five files, 10 megabytes each. Um, it accepts PDFs, TXTs, CSVs, etc. cetera. Uh, I've tested a few things. It takes EPUB. I have not yet tested a Word doc, but I'm sure it would take that. Um, so really cool that we can upload files here. So already they, they've they really got my attention, especially compared to ChatGPT, which is still limited in some of what it can do with uploading files and stuff. You're, you are able to do it in using some of the plugins and whatnot, but so far this is proving to be um, kind of a cleaner experience than that. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, I'm going to open a file this is uh, my Arthur Tales short story collection. I've got three short stories here in here. I think the total adds up to about 30,000 words total. So we'll see if it can handle that. I say, give me a summary of the contents of this ebook and see what it gives us. All right, so it has given us a brief summary of the three stories in there. Um, it did get one thing wrong here. It says this ebook contains two short stories related to the legend of King Arthur. Um, and it gives me the, the first one, gives me the second one. And then it somehow gave me the third one as well, even though, um, even though it said there were only two. Uh, but it has clearly read the whole thing if it got all three of these. And so that's pretty cool. It didn't give me a huge summary, so I could maybe ask it to do a little more. Um, and let's see if how well it does with output. So I'm just going to say, write me a 2,000 word summary about the um, the Arthur Tales, and I'll just leave it at that. All right. So I asked it to ask me to give me a 2,000 word summary. It clearly didn't do that. If I go and I plug it into Word counter, it only gives me 523 words. So not great for a first try. I have definitely gotten more output out of it before though. Uh, so let's let's give this another another try to actually write some prose. So my prompt is gonna be write me 3000 words using the following 13 story beats. Um, I'm giving it, I'm telling it to do 3000 words. I don't actually expect it to be able to do 3000 words. But I'm just, you know, we're testing. We're testing the limits. And then I have 13 beats. Uh, so then I just tell it the genre and some of the style things that I want it to know. And then beneath this, I'm going to add these 13 beats. Interestingly, when you paste in a long section of text, it will actually create a TXT file that has everything you pasted in there. So that actually kind of can be a great thing to s clean up the chat area so that you don't have these enormous chats in there with all of this text. So I kind of like that. So write me 3000 words. Let's see if it can do it. All right, so I have the output it gave me here. Let's see how much it is. 1000 words exactly. Uh, this is interesting. So, so far I haven't really been able to consistently get it to write more than a thousand words. 
And so with that in mind, we can maybe adjust this a little bit and say, hey, I don't want, um, I don't want 3,000 words, so we'll give it a few, a couple fewer. Also, an another thing I noticed is that the AI tends to be pretty creative. ChatGPT tends to stick to your prompt very well, and Claude, in a way, in ways that are often a good thing, it tends to stray from the prompt a little bit gets more creative it can be a good thing in some situations but it tends to really just go off the edge sometimes you're like that's not what i want this is the reason that i have up till now been a little hesitant to use claude more often um but some of these things are, are getting me back so we're going to try this again in a separate prompt window and I'm only going to give it four story beats instead of 13. And I'm just going to ask it to do 1,000 words using the following four story beats. Um, actually, I'll say 1,200 words because I want 1,000. But I think that sometimes it gives you just always slightly less than what you asked for. And we're going to paste in four story beats here. So it took all of those. It didn't put them into a TXT file. And then I'm going to uh, add in important. Be sure to stick to the story beats. Do not stray from the prompt in the story, story beats below. Do not get too creative. Nah, I don't want to say that. Um, I, I We'll leave it at that. We'll see how it does, see if it sticks to the prompt a little bit better. All right, so it gave us the output here. Let's see how much it ended up being. 800 words, so a little bit under 1,000 uh, that I wanted, but still enough, I think. And looking at the text, it actually followed the prompt pretty closely, and I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. And... So what it gave me was about 2,000 words or 200 words per story beat, which is about what you get in Pseudorite. Uh, so that's good to know. Um, I'm sure that there will be a lot of testing that goes on, and I want to hear what you're doing with it. So please sound off in the comments below if you have tried anything that works really well for you or anything like that. Um, because there's going to be a lot of testing that goes into actually figuring this thing out. And there's only so much I can do here in one video. Let's test one or two more things here. So given this prompt, um, I'm going to go into Pseudowrite and get my synopsis for this, um, for this story, bring it into Claude and let's actually start a new one. So given the following synopsis. Write a book description for a best-selling dark fantasy book make sure it has a clear hook because that's something that AI often struggles with or getting those initial hooks and that it is among the best quality book descriptions on all of Amazon. I don't know. We'll just give it something and then I'll paste in that synopsis, um, and which it sent into a TXT file. In the land of Ebon Reach, necromancers hold the terrifying power to enslave the dead. But when the gifted student named Lyra discovers she can communicate with the souls of the enslaved, she begins to question everything. That's actually, so if we could take that first paragraph and condense it to like 10 words or less, um, that actually might make a good hook. Lyra Thorne seemed destined for glory at the prestigious Bright Soul Academy for Necromancy, but her world fractures after forging a forbidden bond with Elric, a sensitive ma dead man whose lingering spirit she accidentally awakens. Okay, so yeah, it's doing a good job here. Soulbound, I didn't give it the title, so it made up one is an enthralling dark fantasy novel of <laughs> 117,000 words. Oh gosh, I haven't written that. 
This, by the way, is my Omnimancer novel that I am actually discarding in favor of working on one of my own ideas. Uh, and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about writing fiction with AI. And uh, I was working on this novel, The Omnimancer, uh, because it was an idea that the AI gave me and I thought I would write it. And I found it wasn't that fun to write an idea that wasn't mine. And so I'm pivoting and writing my own work now, but I'm just using this uh, for the purposes of testing Claude right now. Um, it re weaves necromancy, forbidden romance, and moral complexity into an epic tale perfect for fans of E.E. E. Schwab, Le Bardugo, and Sabah Tahir. Actually, that's not off. Uh, those are kind of the authors I would I would pick to compare myself to for this book. I'm seeking representation for Soulbound and its two planned sequels. Thank you for your consideration. So this is uh, talking as if I was trying to write to a publisher or something like that. Um, so, you know, it's not perfect, of course, but the output tends to be really good. I'm actually curious because this first paragraph I really liked, but if we could condense it to 10 words or less, can you condense the first paragraph into 10 words or less? to form a solid hook. Give me, well, no, I'll just stick with that. In Ebon Reach, necromancers enslave the dead, but one can set them free. Not bad, actually, not too bad. Um, I'm gonna ask it to give me 10 alternate ideas. Okay, so it gave me 10 alternate ideas. Uh, these aren't quite as good as the first one because with the first one, I was trying to tell it to condense a single paragraph into a nice hook. Uh, but some of these aren't too bad. She masters death magic, he masters her heart. That's actually not bad at all. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty exciting, you guys. Uh, definitely go check out Claude and play around with it yourself and let me know what you discover. And I'll see you in the next video.